So a few days ago, Gearbox released a hotfix that changed the damage outputs and stats for many of the legendary weapons, especially the more popular ones that people have liked to use. They also buffed several weapons that they felt people weren't using enough. Now we're not going to talk about the nerfs that they've done to them, some of the other guns and whether that was the right decision or not. What we're going to focus on today is the Maggie and the buff that it got. I was doing some testing a couple days ago with my Amara character and the Maggie has just, in my opinion, received an enormous buff now to the point to where it's a, it's a very viable Mayhem 3 uh, weapon for a character like Amara. I would have guessed that this would work for other characters too, like Flak, um, maybe even Moe's, but certainly Flak with his crit ability. And I was on Mayhem 3 testing it out on the Slaughter Shafts with Amara, and the Maggie was just absolutely destroying. Um, I went to the Slaughter 3000, and had the modifier purposely where enemies had plus 45% health, armor, and shields and still didn't, I didn't even really notice it, honestly. I mean, they felt a little bit more bullet spongy, but was just absolutely destroying with it. So I wanted to share with you guys a way that you can make the Maggie a weapon that just absolutely destroys enemies now. Now the Maggie was nerfed before and now it's been buffed, but it hasn't been buffed quite up to its uh, previous status. So. When I looked at mine without any hotfixes applied, the damage was 568 times 6. Right now you can tell it's 501 times 6, so it's missing about 67 damage per pellet. I'm not sure if we'll get up to the pre-nerf days completely, if they're going to leave it here. Regardless, I've been finding that it outperforms other purple masters, mainly because it has the extra pellet and it's got the extra critical hit damage. Certainly if you could get this anointed as well to increase damage, with Amara, it'd be like a phase slam modifier or phase cast modifier that would make it outperform them even more so. So I'm going to show you the skills that I have from the skill trees and then more importantly we're going to talk about the equipment that I use for this. This isn't going to be super in depth, there isn't really a whole lot of rocket science to this build at all. So let's start with the skills. The main skill tree we're going to go down is the Mystical Assault skill tree. We're going to max out fast hands so we get the extra reload speed and weapon swap speed. I'm just going to put two points over here into do harm so that we can get to the next tier. We're not using elemental damage so there's no need to have violent tapestry. This will help us too as we kill enemies and get rush stacks. It will make our action skill a bit more meaty and we are going to be using our action skill quite a bit. Then we're going to put three points in the transcend so we get the extra critical hit damage. That's mainly what this is for. Accuracy does help too because the Maggie is not as accurate as other Jacob's pistols. But the key here is getting the critical hit damage uh, modifier after we use our action skill. Because we're going to want to use our action skill as much as possible, we're going to be maxing out Restless so we get the plus 25% cooldown rate. We're going to put one point over into Alacrity just so we can get down to the next tier. We're going to put one point into Ascendant for the extra buffs that the augments will have. And then where this build really starts to come together, apart from Transcend, is we're putting three points in the Wrath so we get increased gun damage. And this gun damage is increased after we use our action skill. Then we're gonna put three points in the Late Bear so we get damage increased after enemies are damaged by our action skill. Plus 25% for eight seconds. And then this wouldn't be something you have to get Jacob's fire rate is already pretty good, but having a little bit of extra fire rate here doesn't hurt and gets us down to the next tier. Then we're going to put one point into remnants. Once again, this is a personal preference. You could put more into this. I find just putting one is enough. Having one orb coming out with the extra overkill damage really just kind of helps with mopping up certain enemies. You can do it right too with uh, bosses if they've got little minions around them. You can kill one of their minions with an insane amount of overkill damage and then that overkill damage will transfer to the boss and it can help you out as well. This build is going to output insane amounts of damage per shot and most of the time if you're doing it right you're going to have a lot of damage that's essentially wasted because you don't need to be having three, four, five hundred thousand damage uh, onto an enemy so this just helps because it saves some of that and damages nearby enemies. Then we're going to put one skill into the capstone skill avatar. 
this just lets us use our action skill more which is important because all the bonuses that we're getting from skills like laid bear and transcend are activated once we use our action skill or damage enemies with our action skill the key to this build as you'll see is that we're using our action skill as much as possible to damage enemies as well as just using our action skill because doing so activates many of the skills here in mystical assault and that's really key so the key that makes this build really work is that when we use our action skill we're getting tons of damage buffs and critical hit buffs and the maggie is a master so it makes hitting the critical areas on enemies just that much easier for my action skill i've been keeping it on reverberation and then having the soul sap augmentation you could use phase slam if you want and then say apply the nova if you want to reach more enemies i find that phase cast is good for my purposes and i like the extra damage it gets as i can send it through multiple enemies we're ignoring Fist of the Elements completely, and we're putting skill points over here into Brawl just for survivability purposes. Mayhem 3, I like to keep myself up as much as possible and don't want to sacrifice my survivability just because I have a good DPS build going. So we're going to put 5 points into Root to Rise for the extra health. We're going to max out personal space so we get the extra bonus damage being up close. That's what we're going to be doing with this build anyway, so why not get that bonus from that? My class mod buffs clarity, but you don't really need health regeneration with this build. Mayhem 3, the damage output is greater than any health regeneration you could really get with Amara. And the equipment that we're using allows us to get health back as we kill enemies. So this just happens to be here and it's not required. Then we're going to max out helping hands because we want to get the extra damage reduction on Mayhem 3. And we're using our action skills so much anyway. This is going to really help us by staying up. Then we'll put 3 points into mindfulness so we get the extra movement speed, shield regeneration delay as well. Then we're going to put 5 points into 1 with nature for the extra health once again just improving our survivability on mayhem 3 and then finally we're going to put one point into guardian angel so we can get that extra second wind so those are the skills that we're going to be using the equipment obviously the maggie as i said before that's what this build revolves around if you could get this anointed uh, for amara or whatever character you might be having that would be great certainly if you want more dps you're going to want a different anointed modifier that's currently what i'm looking for this is the only maggie i've actually found i got it from a, a loot tink it's a random world drop and i've not found any others since this unfortunately so my quest to find an anointed one for amara i want to get the one with phase cast that gives you plus 250 percent weapon damage after using phase cast so hopefully that's something i can get in the near future now you could just end it at that the maggie is good enough but to make this build even more fun what i would recommend is having as many good jacob's weapons as possible because we're going to be getting insane amounts of jacob weapon critical hit damage with the equipment that we have so i'm using the one pump chump i just got this recently this thing is so much fun absolutely insane it's got 1160 weapon damage as you can see single pellet one in the magazine but it's got a 50 percent chance not to consume ammo when fired so sometimes you can fire this thing multiple times did some testing with it i haven't done research to confirm this or not if you know let me down, know in the comments but it seemed to be the more critical hits i could string together the more the damage went up so for example there was one instance where i shot one enemy and i was able to get about eighty-two thousand damage from the critical hit and then immediately after that i shot the same type of enemy it was right next to him and the, the damage jumped up to about 300 something thousand Nothing had changed. My modifiers were all on. I'd used my action skill for both of them. The only thing that was constant was that I had hit both consecutively without missing. So in my tests, I was getting more damage the, the more times I could string it together. Then when I was at 300,000, I went ahead and purposely missed and then fired again. And then my damage went back down to say the 80 some thousand. So once again, if you know that, let me know in the comments below. But it did seem to me that if you can string these hits together, your damage just starts going through the roof, and this thing's just so much fun. I want to put a link down below to an article that explains where you can get this. It's very easy. It's not a difficult farm, and it didn't take me that long in farming the character either to get it the, the unique spawn enemy. Next, we've got the monocle. This looks very just unassuming when you look at the stats it actually kind of looks horrible and i only started using it recently just because i wanted to test it out because i thought there had to be something more than meets the eye here stats like i said doesn't look like there's really anything going on from my tests as well as just looking online what others have posted about it this apparently has more than a plus 10 percent critical hit damage modifier it's some people say it has as much as a 500 percent critical hit modifier other people say it's not quite as high as the unforgiven pistol so regardless I found that this thing just absolutely wrecks. Even on Mayhem 3, you activate the action skill with Amara, and if you fire through the scope versus hip fire,
where you get insane amounts of critical hit damage. I was shooting some enemies, you know, no no mayhem modifiers. I keep everything neutral when I test, so I don't have any extra gun damage or anything like that. And I was getting easily three, four, five hundred thousand damage in one shot, which was, you know, obviously one shotting everything. Super fun. What I found in my test, I was not able to confirm this with anyone online, but what I found in my test was that the farther I was away from the enemies, the more damage I was doing. It's almost as if the critical hit damage increases the farther you are from the enemy. And I also found that if you weren't scoped in, you weren't getting that extra critical damage. So if you tried to hip fire this thing close, I was looking at the damages that I was getting. And it was just, it was pretty pedestrian, not, not a lot at all. Almost as if the base stats were being applied to that. Then when I went farther away and scoped in, that's where I was getting the insane amounts of damage. So this I just found was super fun. If there's some enemies that you just either can't get up to or just want to have some fun, this is something I would highly recommend. The other thing that's good about having it is it allows you to crit swap because it does have a higher critical hit damage modifier. You can crit swap with it. It's not as good as say having the Unforgiven pistol. Unfortunately, I had one of those and I sold it but you can use this as well, the crit swap. So that's about it for the guns. I've got the Flacker here as well, just because I like it even with the recent nerf. Um, it's still still quite good. So I've just got this as my fourth weapon, but you can put kind of whatever you want. If you want a crit swap, you could use something to pair with the monocle, or like I said, use something to pair with the Unforgiven as well. Shield is just personal preference. I've got the Transformer right now. I switch this out often. The key here is the class mod. I've got a Spectral Phase Zerker and the, the roll that I got, which makes this build really come together, is plus 45% Jacob's Weapon critical damage. Since we're using Jacob's Weapons pretty much exclusively with this build, this allows us to get almost an extra 50% of critical damage with them. That's what really helps make the Maggie shine. You don't need this, but just really makes this build come together and just output insane amounts of damage. And then of course, having the th plus 31% sniper rifle damage, it would be better to have, say, the pistol because we use the Maggie more, but this sniper rifle damage does pair well with the monocle and allows me to get insane amounts of damage with that as well. Shield capacity just helps with us staying alive longer with survivability. Then for our artifact, I've got an auto idle where this restores 18% of my max health after killing an enemy. This is what really helps uh, with survivability purposes when you're on Mayhem 3 if you're in like the slaughter shaft or something, is that you're getting health back as you kill enemies. It also buffs my max shield, which is helpful. Grenade, same thing, just personal preference. I've got a shot grenade paired with my transfer so I can get my shields up uh, in a pinch and that's it that's the build as I said the, the the main things the Maggie the one pump chump and the monocle paired with a legendary class mod that gives you the Jacob's weapon critical damage that's really the key that makes this build come together so that's the build let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any suggestions to make this better I've used elemental builds for Amara for a while now and it feels good just to kind of do a gunslinger straight gun build with her. It's just been really fun to not have to worry about mayhem modifiers if the enemies don't take shock damage or corrosive damage. That doesn't matter. You're outputting so much DPS with this, you just smash through everything and it's been a blast. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've been using the Maggie, if you've noticed the buff has really increased its effectiveness. And if you have any suggestions, of course, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. Smash that like button if you like this video. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. I've got more Borderlands 3 content coming out in the future. As always, I'll leave you guys with a little bit of game footage with the build in action. I'll see you guys in the next installment. Barely worth the sweat.